What's up, what's going on legends? It's your boy Earl Shatter here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to unlock the new Finn LMG the easiest possible way, whether you're in Warzone or you own the full game of Modern Warfare. But before we jump into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime, or you find this video helpful in any way, make sure you guys show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw a goal of 20 likes on today's video. Also, if you guys are interested in finding your way back to the channel for more Modern Warfare or Warzone content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button, followed by that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So like I said today, we're going to be talking about how to unlock the Finn LMG the easiest possible way. But before we do that, let's go ahead and see exactly what the challenge is. So obviously, if you guys go to your loadout or create a loadout section, and you go to the LMGs, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, the Finn, and you hover over it, the challenge reads, get one melee kill while using an LMG in seven different matches. Now, obviously, you think because you are using an LMG, you expect to be a little bit slower and, of course, it's going to make getting a melee kill a little bit more difficult. However, if you guys do own a full copy of the game, you guys are easily able to jump into to shipment. You're going to be able to get this done super quick. One thing that is really useful is actually once you get the kill, you can double check by going to your create a loadout during in-game and scroll again down to your Finn LMG and see if your challenge is tracked. Now, if it has tracked or you know that it, you're confident that it has actually counted, you can then leave that lobby and jump into your next game. This shouldn't take you all that long at all, maybe like 15 minutes, depending on how quickly you can get into matches. However, if you're a free-to-play Warzone player, the challenge could be a little bit more difficult. So I will suggest that if you are going for the melee kill with the LMG, you should put on a Holger class and hopefully you have some attachments unlocked because you're going to want to use the Breacher device as your muzzle and the Fast Melee as your perk. Use the 30-round mag, obviously, to speed things up alongside the smallest barrel, which I believe is called the Spitfire. So that way you're going to be able to move as quickly as you can using this weapon, and you're going to be able to hit somebody quick and take them out and obviously complete your challenge. However, if you are in Warzone, it's a little bit more difficult as you do have to jump into Plunder, and you're going to have to take somebody out. The The challenge here won't be actually knocking somebody. It'll be, able, it'll be actually getting up to them and being able to melee them. So a very easy way to accomplish this goal is obviously, like I said, you're going to jump into Plunder, you're going to go down, fly in, go to somewhere that's very populated. I was able to do this a ton of times in a single match, although it's not about how many in a single match you get. I wanted to prove that it is very easy to do, essentially, and you guys shouldn't have any trouble at least getting one per match. And then again, if you do actually complete your melee hit and kill, you can then jump out of the game and get into your next match so that you can get through the challenge as quickly as possible. So for Warzone players, you can use any weapon as long as you have an LMG on your class as well. Essentially, what you're going to want to do is land anywhere. Like I said, somewhere populated usually can help. However, it is difficult to actually get up to close in quarters with somebody who's trying to shoot at you. So the idea is you're going to want to down a player, and you're going to want to run up to them. And while they're down on the ground, you're going to want to pull out your LMG if you don't already have it out, and you're going to want to melee them a couple times, taking them out as the full kill. So although challenges are a little bit tougher in Warzone, I will say it is nice to know that all you have to do is down somebody. You can down them with an MP7. As long as you come up and melee them and finish them off, you will absolutely get something to track towards your challenge. You'll get one kill to track towards your challenge, I should say. The one tough thing I did find while doing this challenge in Warzone, in order to actually replicate this for those of you that are free to play, I did jump on my second account. Obviously, nothing had been tracked so far. I had zero out of seven. So I was able to make sure that the challenge that I was going for was actually counting. Essentially, I didn't really have too many issues getting the melee hits in the war zone after a couple of matches, but there were a few matches where I would take somebody down, they would either be a full kill, I would get immediately challenged by the teammate being forced to take them down, or I would down somebody and they would immediately finish themselves off. When they finish themselves off, obviously you can't run up and hit them, making it quite a bit more challenging. Obviously, you could take the approach where you run up to somebody, hopefully get close enough to them, and melee them a couple times and get the kill that way. However, I do think it's 100% easier to down a player and then go up and finish them off while using your LMG and hitting that melee attack. Overall, it's a very easy challenge. I don't anticipate you guys having too much difficulty doing it. Whether you own the full game or whether you just are a free-to-play Warzone player, you should easily be able to accomplish this goal. The Finn is definitely a weapon I highly suggest you guys get unlocked. It's not the best weapon in Warzone. It's definitely not the meta as of right now, but it is definitely a weapon that you can rely on. It is very good. Personally, I like it more than the Bruin, something a little different. And there are seven barrels 
some of them offering rapid fire, which is really cool to see. We don't have any rapid fire attachments in Modern Warfare, so it's kind of cool to see something like this actually make its way into the game. And it's kind of a, you know, a different vibe as far as it's an LMG and it has the ability to be, you know, at a slower rate of fire or obviously increase the rate of fire and then have a little bit less damage output. Across the board, you guys will absolutely have a blast with this weapon. You're going to, of course, have to unlock all the attachments to really set up the right class. But I think you guys are more than capable of making that happen. Now, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this content, like I said earlier, make sure you guys smash that like button so you can support the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you want to find your way back for more Modern Warfare or Warzone content. And then also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Appreciate you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!